Hiya, Kevin, World in Vapor, back again for my second review for today. Again, it's going to be a juice review, the second in my series of these uh, doozy juices, and I'm going to eventually get all of their juices and uh, and review them. They're a wee bit expensive, uh, about 15 quid for 30 mil, but uh, I'm interested to see what each one of them tastes like. Now, the last one that I did was the Liquid Gold. So this time I'm going to try the Berrylicious. I've got my Yelp Dripper, my good old faithful Yelp Dripper, on top of my uh, uh, cuboid, or the Corsa, as Totally Wicked call it. Right. Oh, yeah, that smells very fruity. Blackcurrant, strawberry and blueberry, apparently. Yeah, yeah, that is very, very fruity. A clear liquid. Again, three milligrams of nicotine in there. Right, let's just whip this up, or juice it up, and uh, we'll go from there, okay? Right, so we've got it all whipped up. Let's just pop the cap back on top there. Uh, just make sure that the airflow is over the top of the coil. There we go, 30 watts. Yeah, I can taste the black cone. It's almost powdery. Almost powdery. Yeah. Powder chalky. I'm going to whack that up. If that helps the flavour. 40 watts. I'm oh, getting a bit of strawberry there now, as well as the black currant. I don't know where the blueberry is. <laughs> Yeah, definitely blackcurrant, a hint of strawberry on the exhale. I can't taste the, taste the blueberry. No, those, the strawberry and the, uh, the blackcurrant seem to overwhelm it and it is a little it is a little bit chalky it's got a bit of a chalky taste to it now i know that's not the cotton because that bacon cotton that i use in my rdas the flavor just literally floods from it i won't use anything else now I've got to whack that up and get a warmer vape on it and see uh, see if that makes any difference. I'm going to bung that straight up to 60 watts and we'll try that. Even though, even though at lower watts there, it's got like a, a chalky taste to it. I can tell that it's a good juice. It's making my nose go, if you know what I mean. Let's try 60 watts and see what that does. No, it's exactly the same, exactly the same. I'm going to bung that up a bit more. Yeah, definitely the strawberry, definitely the blackcurrant, but I still cannot taste that blueberry. What is going on here? Hang it, I'm going to just go straight up to 90 watts and see what that does. Here we go. I, ain't going to, I don't know if I'll go any higher than this, but <laughs> well, there you go. Whoa! Do you know something? I think I can taste it, just slightly. That's at 90 watts. Okay. Something I very, very seldom do. There we go. 100, 100 watts, there you go. Let's, uh, let's give that to you. Oh, that is quite a hot vape. But yeah, now I can taste the blueberry. It's sort of infused behind the strawberry and the blackcurrant. And well, at higher watts, I, I can taste it. At lower watts, it's not there for me.
Right, well, I know what I've got to do then. I've got to vape it a hundred bloody watts just to get the full flavour from it. <laughs> oh well, that's going to kill that juice. It's going to disappear like I don't know what. But uh, yeah, that that one I actually like that one. I'm wondering actually whether that blueberry was contributing at lower watts to the chalky taste, or whether that was the blueberry. But at higher watts, it's sort of gone. Pfft, pfft, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nose is going again, so there you go. I'd never heard of them. I had never heard of these people. Uh, they're a, a, a Yorkshire-based company. I'll have their website down there, as well as where in Worthing that I actually picked this up from. As I said, they're fifteen, about 15 quid for a 30 ml bottle. Way bit expensive in my mind. Maybe a couple of quid off of that probably would have been uh, a bit better. That's uh, that's the Blurry Licious. Anyway, thank you very much for listening to my warblings. If you like this review, please do hit that subscribe button. Um, give me an up or give me a down. I don't care. I like to know what people think about these uh, these reviews of mine. So the up and down, they do help in a way. I don't care about them, but they do help um, as to where you know, what I'm putting forward, sort of thing. Anyway, look, this is Kevin from Wording Vapor. I'm going to wish you guys a bright and pleasant day, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Because you know I'm all about that vape, about that vape, air bubbles. I'm all about that vape, about that vape, air bubbles. I'm all about that